Hey guys, it's Denise from The Painted Home. That's thepaintedhome.com. I did a project last night that I'm so proud of. I was giddy when I did it. It was the quickest project. It was one of those projects that you find it on Pinterest or you see it, um, somebody links to it on Facebook or something and it's super cute and you wanna do it and you like it and you tag a friend. Um, and then you never really get around to doing it. It's like your Pinterest board where you put stuff on Pinterest and then you never actually do it. So I decided I'm going to start doing things, especially with all the snow around here. It's the perfect time at night, like when you're sitting on the sofa with a glass of wine to have like a fun little craft project to do, especially when you can finish it that night. It's instant gratification, which is what I like because I can't stand those projects that are so many steps that then they just wind up sitting around as unfinished projects. So I've got a project for you today that you're going to finish in one night, under one hour, um, and you might already have the stuff laying around your house. So I'm going to show you what it is. It is these tassels. See that? Are they super cute? They almost look like little ghosts or little octopuses but I tied them on the end of a blanket I already had. So I can't knit, I can't crochet. If you can, then good for you, and you can mail me a nice soft blanket. But I can't, so I just embellish what I have, which is kind of like well, my whole theory around this house. Anyhow, we just embellish what we have to make it a little more customized and designer and to have a little craft therapy. So look, see what we're gonna make? I'm gonna show you how to do these tassels. Super easy and quick. So. I just did them on two sides of the blanket. So this blanket is from Ikea, if you recognize it. It's like a gray, soft, nubby, I love it. It's one of my favorite blankets, and I'm gonna guess we have at least four of them in the house. My kids love them. They're the perfect cozy up blanket, even in the spring, like at night when you're sitting outside. So we have this gray blanket. You can use any blanket, but I like something that um, kind of has a little bit of holes in it because you're going to need that later unless you want to get out a needle and thread, which I don't. So let me just show you the ends again. If you're just tuning in, I'll show you what we're going to do. Can you see what's going on there? What do you see? So see, I just lined. I put one on each corner and then I put three in the center and then one on the end. And then I did it on the opposite side. So I left one side blank, tassels on this side. So it's super cute and I'm gonna try to walk you through it. So bear with me through the magic of television. Um, I already have some pre-done. The only things you're gonna need is the blanket, a square of cardboard. So mine, this is five inches by five inches. Any old piece of cardboard will do. Hi, Leanne. <laughs> That's my twin. Go make this, Leanne. So you're going to need a piece of cardboard. Totally simple. Yarn. I found this yarn. I think it was on sale at AC Moore, and I bought it, not even knowing what I was going to do with it. But it's super soft. I guess it's chenille. I don't know. I'm not a knitter, so I don't actually know. But I just whatever you're drawn to. And I say like the fluffier the better, but you're gonna get different textures and different looks depending on what yarn you use. So you're gonna take your piece of cardboard and your yarn. This is how difficult this is. Not at all. You're gonna wrap your cardboard with the yarn. You just start wrapping and wrapping. So the more you wrap, the fatter tassel you're gonna have. And I'm going to say it's going to, you're going to do a few tassels before you get in the groove and you figure out like what's the perfect amount to wrap. But if I could show you this, like this is my perfect amount and I don't measure it or anything. I just go by feel. You're going to take that. I'm going to turn the camera. So let's see if this actually works. And don't stare at my stomach. You're just going to stare at the project. So you see it or do you just see the, uh, <laughs> you just see the camera leg. There we go. There's the project. So here it is. So you had your five inch piece of cardboard. It's a five inch square. You just wrapped around. You don't tie or anything. You just wrap, wrap, wrap until you see. So you can see about how much I did, right? And I do it loose because I want like a loose casual tassel. I don't want it super tight, like all tightly wound like a crazy PTA mom. So you're going to take a piece of string. I'm going to say this is about 22 inches long. It's not string, it's the same yarn you've been using. And you're going to slide it underneath, all the way under, 
tie it in the center like a nice tight knot. Don't pull too hard because this chenille yarn will break and then you'll really be pissed. So you're going to see how we use this later. You're going to want long tails on this. So these long tails are good. You see that? See where we're going with this? Got it so far? Flip it over. Take your scissors, slide them under, and cut right in the center. And the sharper scissors you have, the better your project's going to look. Put your cardboard over there. You see so far? So you grab your tails and kind of fluff this down a little, right? You with me? It's going to be super cute. Really cute. You could even put these on the corners of some big Euro shams. Put them in the center of your bed. Oh, God, I'm going to have to do that now. So there you go. Lay your ghost there. Put this about two inches from the top. You're going to put another piece of yarn. You're going to tie. You want to pull snug, but you don't want to break it. Tie that in a knot. And then I like to wrap it a little bit just to give it a little bit of, you know, texture, a little bit of a thick wrap in the center. See, like that. Wrap it one more. See, how easy was this? How many minutes are we on? I don't even know, but we already finished one tassel. And I'm telling you, I did 10 tassels last night in under an hour. Then I trimmed the ends of this. Trim the ends there. Check out your guys at the end here. You kind of can just pull it. It's like cutting off a ponytail. And if I had sharper scissors, this would go a little bit smoother. So you really want to have scissors that are dedicated to fabric and yarn and stuff. See? Super duper cute. Come back to me now. Hello! So, here we go. There's your tassel. Was that the quickest thing ever? How do I see who's actually watching when they're not commenting? I don't know. Comment so I know you're here. So I see Leanne, my cousin, who's actually my twin. I wish she could post a picture so you could crack up and see how much we look alike. So how funny is that? There, that's that. I'm going to show you how I did it on my... I took an end. And see, it's like porous. So you can kind of see through here. I just jammed my finger through. You take one of your long tails from the top. Hi, Missy. Tie. Knot it. And then you trim the tails off. And there you go. So there's your project for the day. So your kids finally went back to school, hopefully, from the snow. And you're going to go make some tassels and be very busy. So now that I just talked myself into putting it on the end of some Euro shams. I think I'm going to have to do that. I think I'm going to need some needle and thread for that because I don't have crocheted shams on my bed. So how do you like that? This was so much better than photographing it and posting it on my website because I thought showing you how to do it um, was a little bit easier than showing you pictures because I can talk you through it. So let me tell you again really quick. You're going to take a five inch square of cardboard. You're going to take some really soft yarn. So when next time you're at Joanne Fabrics and you see the yarn always goes on sale and I'm not a knitter or a crocheter, but they just, mm, they look so good. I even had this sitting around in a centerpiece for a while because I had nothing to do with it, but I thought it was nice and wintry. You're going to wrap, 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 wrap. Then you're going to rewatch this video to see what you do after you wrap, right? So is that the coziest? So go make, embellish your blankets. This one was from Ikea. I'm not being paid by Ikea, but... I'm going to guess it was like an under a $10 blanket, and we love it. And I've even put it through the wash. Not with the tassels on, but I put the blanket through the wash, and it comes out great. I don't think I'll put it through the wash with the tassels on there. But I guess you can untie the tassels or just save this blanket for yourself so your dirty little kids don't get your blanket dirty and make them their own. So that's that. So go make some tassels. You could even use leather. You could make them smaller. If you did some leather tassels or some cording, you could make smaller ones and then string them, and it could be a necklace. It could be a keychain, so many different things, right? So there's your girl's night out. If you're sick of Bunko, you're sick of everything else, have your girlfriends over and do a little make and take. And if you live in Ambler or anywhere near Ambler, you can invite me. I'll come over and make and take with you. All right, send me some pictures if you did the tassels. Thanks for stopping by. Bye. Oh, finished.